So the scripture for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10, and it reads, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. And that's Jesus speaking, of course. And the meditation is the following. The Savior wants to give us an abundance of spiritual life, infinitely indulgent to human weaknesses and always ready to sympathize with our infirmities. He nevertheless wishes to see us strong, firm, and unshakable in our faith and as lamps always burning and shining far around us. Our internal spiritual life does not require a resounding glory. On the contrary, its richest fruits ripen imperceptibly in the dark. The great feat of redemption was accomplished in silence, and the prophetic words came true, like it says in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 19, he will not quarrel or cry out, no one will hear his voice in the streets. Loud words, external splendor and noise do not constitute moral strength. It grows and becomes firmer in humility. The Lord gives grace to the humble, as it says in the epistle of St. James, chapter four, verse six. Only love can satisfy the great need all around us. We need an abundance of love in order to have an abundance of life. But we all realize the poverty of our spiritual life. We are weak. We are exhausted under the weight of worries and sorrows. We are powerless before obstacles. The source of our love dries up with the first encounter with evil. We have nothing with which to fulfill the needs of our brethren. How often we give a stone to someone who asks for bread. But when our heart is imbued with the life of Christ, you must have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, as St. Paul says in his epistle to the Philippians, chapter two, verse five, then our life will also become a blessing for everyone around us. Until we receive this abundance of life and love, our heart will be empty and our existence useless. We must pray about this and seek it above all else. The light of Christ and his love will fill us with unearthly joy, which will defeat the evil and sorrow of the world. The spirit of Christ will fill us with an abundance of life which we will pour out in love onto each and every person.